Okay, in this lesson, we want to go into explain a parametric spline holding mouse over one of these window and hold your mouse for some seconds and this window will be open and click on this dot line to open the window put it right here right click on them icon size large for display them better making bigger and I explained one by one, but I explained cockwheel, the cissoid and cycloid formula, and the helix in a separate lessons because they are they have very mo uh, lots of settings that need to be explained in a separate lessons. As I said before, all of these parametric objects you can uh, draw your shape with this and then combine them for example going to the spline and use all of this tool add remove clone move boolean especially boolean common to combine their this shape and make a new shape but these are uh, very basic shapes that you can begin with them i for example arc this arc you can simply as i said before combine it with the extrude and extrude your work okay delete them i'm in a model mode uh, click middle mouse button and going to the top click middle mouse button in this area and we are going to the top and draw this shape on the top and explain the settings here first is arc this is simply like arc in its settings in the object tab we have type this is arc, you can change radius. It's a quarter of the complete circle. You can change the end or start angle. You can orient them in a X, Y, or Z plane. Here, as you can see, you can change its plane. In a in the default, we draw into the top. So that we're going to the X and Z plane. And intermediate points, I explain in purpose lesson. You can refer to them. Going to the top. Other type is sector. And we have a problem here because of intermediate point. Make it to the subdivision. Subdivided to... Uh, correct that issue another type is uh, segment it's like a segment of the a quarter segment of the complete circle you can change radius and then start an ang angle like this and you can see you can simply of any of them combine them with the extrude go into the arc and change your animation like this as I said before okay another it's a circle it's a very simple circle here going to the top and click and to draw it, draw it again this is a radius you can change the radius of that other sitting are except reset reverse I told you in the seconds the ellipse when you tick that the radius y will be added here and you can uh, create ellipse shape the ring in a radius will be up here here and here in, in a radius you can create the ring shape uh, reverse going back to the arc sorry for explain the reverse as i said before when uh, when we make editable this arc and go into the point mode and as we can see we have the first and the end <coughs> of of a spline this is our beginning of our spline it is our end of the spline the reverse mode 
reverse that. We draw another arc, bring it here, and simply reverse that. Make it editable, select both of them, both with click and drag, and you can see. We are in the point mode, pay attention, you have to go into the point mode, not in the model mode, the point mode, and you can see the difference between two, these two, these two. This is travel from here to here, and it is this reverse travel from here to here, beginning and end, and reverse. Okay, that's reverse. It's in circle. Not another sitting. Okay. When you want to delete that, you have to go into model mode and then you can delete it. He likes in a separate lessons. End gone. You can simply change the radius, change the sides, and add a rounding here. Click at the rounding, you can add a rounding here and change its rounding radius. And reverse and intermediate point. Rectangle here, you can change the width, height, add the rounding here. Reverse and other setting as the same before. A fourth side, it has a diamond type, kite type. You can change its settings here. Uh, parallelogram, it's like something here. You can change A or B parameter. You can change the angle. The angle is here. Going to the spline. And the angle is between here. Okay. Going to inside and you can change the angle. Other sitting or as this before, and uh, cock with the flower. You can simply change the inner radius. This is inner radius. You can change the outer radius and the chain uh, number of the petals. You can increase or decrease them. Okay, the settings are as the before. Another thing is star. You can change the uh, inner or outer radius and you can twist it. You can increase or decrease the points. Another thing is profile. We have a type H, L, T, Z shape as you want. You can change the height and you can change BST parameter. What uh, what is those parameter? Look at this image here. It's the height. It is B parameter in this width. This is T parameter and this is S parameter in each shape. Okay. Um, you can change all the parameter that you need and create the shape that you want. You can animate them and make interesting animation. And the last one in this lesson is empty spline. So like the empty polygon, you can use it as a null object. We'll refer to the previous lesson for a, what is null object. And you can simply uh, spline, draw a spline line and a sp uh, this spline goes to this spline, empty spline. Okay. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.